What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Now, they were nice enough to send me a copy of it, but I was like, okay, that's awesome. I get to review it, but I want to actually review it the right way and give my honest opinions about the product. And can you please send me another one so I can give away to one of my subscribers? Now, I'm gonna be giving this one away. All you have to do is comment down below which region you're from and some sort of contact information. If you guys have a Gmail account or you know email account, that's awesome. If you guys have a Twitter account, that's also awesome as well. Um, some sort of way for me to actually get a hold of you. Smash that like button, comment down below, and this could possibly be yours. Now, I've been testing it for a while, and I wouldn't do a review on something that I wouldn't use. So um, I definitely am using it, and I'm going to continue using it. But I wanted to give you my honest opinion and pretty much review review and overview of the whole product now i thought of doing like a pretty cool unboxing but that's not going to work because i've already opened the box up and uh i wanted to actually test it out at least for a week before i uh let you guys in on it so i'm gonna pop out the review copy right here um and you guys can buy this if you want off of Amazon, the link to that will be in the video description. It's actually pretty cool. Um, this is the, the case, this is the top to it. Um, and it also serves as a PS4 game holding stand, um, but I took it off. And that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. I took this off because for me, it kind of serves no purpose. Um, it's awesome because it holds up to 14 games and you can make it uh, you know, stand up right next to your PS4 and you look like a freaking boss and showing off all your games. But for me, I don't have the room. I don't have the luxury of putting this anywhere. So I'm probably going to use it somewhere else in the house, not next to my PS4. So it's pretty cool that it actually detaches that easy. Now, I actually detached it before because I've been using it for a while, but these little doohickeys hold the thing together uh, just to give you an idea. Now, another thing that came in the box were these. These are thumbsticks. I don't want to take them out, out of the package. Well, you know what, screw it. Let's take it out of the package. Okay, so these are all the different sizes they got. They got big sizes, camera focus, and then they got baby sizes, shh, baby sizes. This is if you don't want to wear out your, your thumbstick. And then this is if you want to be like a pro player, you know, get your grip on, um, get some elevation. I actually put one on this controller right here, just to give you guys an example. Now this isn't listed in the box and that's pretty cool because it's like an add on freebie thing. And the grip is really good on it as well. Um, this is one of the things that I was actually looking into getting as far as PlayStation accessories um, because I have one on one of my controllers but I needed more. So whoever gets this will get uh, a pair of uh, thumbsticks as well. Well more than a pair like four th thumbsticks so that's pretty cool. Now on to the review. So we have the vertical stand here. We have the charging station here. We got USB ports in the front. We got the game game display on the side. This pops in really easy. Oh, monkey flop, you're already messing up. Okay, this pops in really easy. And as you guys can see here, the original design is to plug it directly into your PlayStation 4, like so. Pretty cool, pretty sleek, really good design, but I don't recommend plugging anything into the front of your PlayStation 4. Um, that would make the PlayStation 4 consume more power than it already does. The reason why I was actually in the market for a cooling system was because I contacted Sony and Sony said put a fan in front of your PS4 problem solved because one issue that I've been having is my PS4 gets hot like right around here and it gets so hot I get scared because I feel like the plastics are gonna melt and it sounds like a jet airplane so I was looking for alternative cooling systems um, and this one definitely serves the purchase serves the purpose of the purchase um, but like I said don't plug anything in over here if you don't have to I have my gaming headset plugged in directly to my TV so I don't consume any power here. My PSVR plugs into here, but what are you gonna do? So what I've actually done is I've rewatered the wire and I have an extension that comes over here and then out the back, like just right around here. 
and then I have it plugged in directly to a wall outlet over here. The charging station, the docking station for your PlayStation 4 controller. Now it's actually pretty cool as you guys can see here. You just pretty much just pop your controller in. Like you just set it in and it starts charging automatically. I really like that. I really find it convenient and there is uh, just enough space in between your PlayStation 4 controller and uh, the PS4 itself. It's not actually hidden at all so that's pretty cool and it's really easy to charge um the next thing that i wanted to show you guys was the cooling fans themselves so these are the cooling fans there's two of them blows cool air right up into your ps4 this does not get hot at all i've left it on overnight i left two controllers in there and i left my ps4 chart running with the fan on just to test it out overnight and have a game running just so that it runs like at max speed you know and with the the everything working this does not get hot at all and it does cool down the playstation 4 enough to where it doesn't sound like a gen engine anymore and it doesn't actually feel like it's gonna melt the freaking plastic as you guys can see here there's plenty of ventilation for uh, air to flow up and into it it's also got these little tabs right here as you guys can see um, you pop these up kind of like keyboards and you set your cooling fan down and it gives it space in between wherever you set it so that's pretty cool too i think this is pretty cool that you got extra usbs right here but it serves no purpose for me so i really don't use that but maybe for somebody else that you know needs extra usb um, power sources then this would be maybe a good alternative for you but for me it's not um, for me it's just like okay that's there cool um, but overall I like it I'm definitely gonna keep using it because I found that it cools my PlayStation 4 down it does a job but I would recommend like I said plug this into a direct power source don't plug it directly into your PlayStation 4. That's actually going to do it for me. Let me know what you guys think about this product in the review in the comment section below. I will have a link, like I said, to the product in the video description as well. So in case you guys are in the market for this, uh, you guys can definitely take advantage of it. It's actually really uh, decently priced. If you consider the fact that, you know, you get a cooling station and then two PS4 controller docking stations included, that's actually a, a plus for me. But like I said, that's it for me. If you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. If you guys haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome as well. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.